Good morning, friends. Notice here, thou art naked. Let that soak real deep. I know I may have much disagreement on this thought, but it's got to a place that a Christian can hardly walk out of his house and not be uh, brought in the presence of this evil age by insufficient dressed women. Uh, women, I'm going to say this and I want you to listen. And man and women, you might disagree with this, but I feel led to say it. Did you know any woman that undresses herself like that is not in her right mind? Do you know she is, whether she believes it or not or thinks it or not, she is a prostitute? Though the woman might stand with her hand before God and swear that she's never been touched by any other man but her husband, and that might be the honest truth, but still she is a prostitute. Jesus said, Whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already. And the woman may be, see, she's naked, the Bible said, and don't know it. The Spirit that's anointing her to do such things is a evil prostitute spirit. Her outward being, her physical body, her flesh, she might be clean. She might not commit any adultery and can swear to God and be the truth that she never. But her spirit is a prostitute spirit. She has been so blinded by the God of this world of fashion. She dressed herself sexy and got out there. The other day, Brother Woods and I were putting our boat in the river. I to get away from the house for a few minutes to go up on the river. And wherever you went, women with these little uh, bunches of called kinias or something around them, that is a disgrace. A woman can't be in her right mind and put on anything like that. She is possessed with a prostitute spirit. Amen. Now, you settle that with God, lady. Well, you'll find out someday that that is th the truth. Amen. How could you... A lady, knowing how sacred your body is, and expose it out there to these lustful, sinful devils that walk the street of this day. If sons of God was all still sons of God, your husband was a son of God, he'd either make you put on clothes or leave you. If a boy was a son of God, he'd never marry such a thing. See, you say you're making... No, I'm telling you the truth. And someday you'll meet it. Naked. Adulterous. Don't know it. Oh, I swear that I never touched past the uh, bowels of my husband. Your husband will judge you for it if you did. But God will judge you. But what kind of a spirit you got in you? Not judge you by your body, but by your spirit. That inner man, the outside man is a physical being which is controlled by six senses, or five senses rather. The inside man is a spirit man which is controlled by five senses, conscience and love and so forth. The outside man, see, taste, feel, smell here. But the inside of that spirit is the soul, and it's controlled by one thing, your free will. You can accept what the devil says or accept what God says. And that will determine what spirit's in there. If it's the Spirit of God, it'll feed on the things of God. And it won't feed on anything in the world. Jesus said, if you love the world, all the things of the world, it's because the love of God's not even entered this inner part. Satan's deceived you. And man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. That proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Notice. Now. We find that she is naked. Lewd. And nude. And the world. 
Seems to be in the most evil age that ever. Never in any age did women ever act like that. Never. But just before the destruction of the Andalusian world. And Jesus referred to it. You are in my perfect will. Keep playing those tapes. I'm coming for you.